Hello, I'm Dr. Clemens Budde, and I'm a nephrologist who specializes in treating patients with TSC. Now I would like to share my experiences with you. For patients with TSC, I think it is important for a nephrologist or urologist to be part of the overall multidisciplinary patient care team, because between 55 and 75% of patients with TSC have AMLs. They also can develop cysts, renal cell carcinoma, and other complications, which may be fatal. In fact, in my department, I've seen many patients with unilateral nephrectomy after bleeding. So in my experience, the potential for patients with AML to develop a series of renal complications underscores the need for renal specialist involvement. Teams may vary between different TSC centers and whether the renal specialist should be a nephrologist or a urologist is debatable. In my experience, urologists may be well versed in the disease state but they are often more focused on surgical interventions rather than medical interventions. I believe that in patients with chronic kidney disease, even stage one or two, a nephrologist should be involved in the multidisciplinary approach to patient care. I feel this also holds true for patients with hypertension. In my experience, the pediatric TSC groups are generally led by the pediatric neurologist. The neurologist is usually involved early on, since neurology is the most frequent and earliest manifestation of the disease in this patient age group. And later on, the pediatric nephrologist may get involved. I find this to be especially true when AMLs are detected during the yearly ultrasound controls. I have several patients who were transferred to an adult nephrologist when they reach 18 years of age. The treatment of TSC in adults, however, is different. These patients are seeing doctors in the areas of dermatology, neurology, pulmonology, and nephrology, and or urology, so it's very difficult to get one team of specialists all together. This is especially true since TSC is such a rare disease, and each specialist may see only a few patients a year. I know of two TSC groups for adults in Germany, and they are both led by nephrologists who have a greater opportunity to play a leading role in the adult TSC population. This is due to the frequent renal manifestations they see and the need for additional medical treatment for diseases such as hypertension.